Hello, this is Joseph from Servoy. And did you know that with Servoy Pro, you get a free one-page website included? I'll show you how to enable that and edit it to your liking in this video. Always first we start at the dashboard, then go to settings, and then here we can go to booking engine. Right here, you'll see a button that says enable website builder. I've already enabled that, so now it just says website builder. And this is where you can edit the one page website that has your booking engine on it. So let's click on that. And now we're in the editor. Now notice here, there are different sections. For example, we have the home, gallery, about us, room types, terms and conditions, and contact section. These also appear right here on the top right. We also have global settings that affect the entire website. First, let's start off by clicking on home. And here we can change labels. For example, right here it says book, but I can change that to home if I wanted to. And you can see that all changes are made live. I'll leave the title of the hotel the same and leave the subtitle the same. I'll keep it to English. And with each of these tabs, you'll notice that there's a content side and a settings side. So right here I can change the image. I'm going to go ahead and use a custom image and upload something that's on my computer. You'll see that it automatically replaces the stock photo with the photo that I chose. I'll click on save and it's automatically saved. I can then click on this back arrow to go back to where I was and work on the next sections. For here in the gallery, I can label it to be gallery and the title will be gallery. The difference here is the label in the menu right here at the top right corner. And then the title section is how it appears. But I can change this to say something else, such as, take a look at our rooms. And then here in the settings section, I can actually upload the actual images that I want to be in the gallery. I'll click on done and you'll notice here the preview automatically generates and I can see these photos for the gallery. I'll click on save and we can go back. You can do the same thing for the About Us section, the Room Type section, and here you can even set it so that only certain room types appear. For example, the single room and single room with breakfast are really the same thing, so I'm going to omit the single room with breakfast. We can enable the terms and conditions section to include terms and conditions that will appear directly on your website. And once again, these things automatically appear here. This is just generic text, but of course you can replace the text with your actual terms and conditions here. It always updates live. But for this case, I'm going to leave this off. I don't want a terms and conditions section on my website. I'll save it and I'll go back. And finally, we have the contact section. Here for the settings, I can put my Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or Twitter URL. I can also edit the contact information to be more specific or the way I want it to appear. But right now, I'm just going to leave this as using the default contact information. It pulls it from settings, your account, contact details. At this point, let's take a break from editing and show the different formats. Right here, the default format is for computers. And then here, you can click on it and see what it would look like for on a tablet. And then finally, here you can click on it and see what it would look like on a mobile phone.
You can also change some elements of the website, such as the preset palettes and primary colors. For example, here on the menu background, I can switch that to a different color, but I'll leave this as white. I can also use a preset palette in case I want a darker theme. But I'll leave that off for now. For the menu height, I can make it larger. And you can see that there's a slight change. But I'll leave it to regular. So right now, if I scroll down, the menu disappears. But if I select it as fixed, then even if I scroll down, the menu is always here on top. Finally, I can change the way that the text appears with a couple of predefined fonts. I'll leave it to this one for now. You can also change your domain name to be what you like. By default, it will be a number here but you can change this to the name of your hotel. Also, the default will be .servoy.me, but you can change this to .booking.site or any of the other options here. I'll leave it at .servoy.me for now. And now whenever somebody enters in that address in their browser, it'll automatically go to this site. In fact, let me save and click on the visit site button. Here I can take an actual live look at what our website looks like. Finally, you have the SEO section, which is for search engine optimization. You can add in Google Search Console HTML tags and also allow search engines to index this page. You can use the tools here to make sure that your website is optimized for search engines when people are trying to look for your hotel. By the way, while you're editing, you can always click on this arrow right here in case you want to see it in full size. This is still the preview version. Then just simply click on the edit pencil in case you want to continue editing. It looks like my website's good and I'm happy with it. In case you have any further questions about our website builder or anything about our system at all, you can always go to our website and start a chat in the bottom right corner. That's at servoy.com. Another option is to look at the many videos that we now have here on YouTube. And perhaps the answer to your question will be in one of those videos. Thanks for watching.